Hey there, Cancer, and welcome into the channel. This is Sage, Center Healing Tarot, and thank you for being here. I thank you so much for hitting the like button. Thank you for sharing the message and for you subs your subscription to the channel. I appreciate it. These are general tarot card messages for Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So all of the messages may not apply to all of you. So take the ones that apply to you and the rest let them fly. Breathe in here with me, Cancerian, welcoming your energy. I hope to get the most accurate financial messages. Yes, what's it? What's it? It says it is. It, is, it has nothing to do with the cards. It's just an energy that wants to come. Wants to come through. Um, this one to what is it you're trying to tell me that one i should listen to you okay um, um i should just check what oh you need to know oh i think it is relevant to this money reading <sighs> someone must tell me something <sighs> I don't know if it's like a little girl, I swear. If she wants to, she's golden. She wants to tell me. She may be in the light. But she wants to tell me. She wants to say, oh my god. Should I shuffle? Yes. I'm just afraid that I'm not going to be able to predict or to receive a message or translate it well and make it match to this reading there's something about to a husband and a wife or a preach a preacher not a preacher or um twin flames a soulmate i just saw a handcuff hanging maybe the law to just this energy i've never felt the balance skills to be handcuffs before as if Handcuffs waiting to be put on to someone. And someone is faced with the law. Warned. What does it have? She wants to show me where. I don't know if I'm to go with you. She says I don't have to go anywhere with her. She just wants me to relax. Oh, I'm going to. Lamp. I wonder how long ago this is. I think she's anointing my forehead with a cross with some liquid or she's holding my hand. Sitting. She wants to know why I came to visit. I don't know. Oh, she wants me to actually be here. <clears throat> In this church. Just, I'm, I'm sitting here on the floor in lotus with my hand my palms facing up on my knees and she's directing me <sighs> maybe this is about receiving as it feels like a prayer position. And if, why is she teaching me how to receive? 
I literally feel like I'm in a it's it was a church before but it could be a tribe a tribal tent of worship a mosque I'm sitting here I can see her I think she's playing with stones or insects in the grass Okay, so we were outside. I stood up to walk, to explore, to feel myself. I was barefooted on the grass. I haven't seen anyone else but the two of us. I think we are related. I feel like I I could have gotten to the point where she was taking me a long time ago but it was really me that was delaying the process because she immediately wanted to just show me what how this was related to the money reading for you can say but it was me because I'm in the space and I want to look around and oh my god am I here and I had to get familiar with it what I feel all along she was pulling me through to go through a forest some woods and then she pointed um, <clears throat> in a direction excitedly. She was happy to show me something beneath a leaf, a breadfruit leaf. And it's like a nugget, a nugget of gold or something. Now I'm feeling like these fell from the tree. No joke. <laughs> now I'm looking up at the tree and it's a, a golden nugget breadfruit tree. Oh my God. <clears throat> she's showing this to me and she's happy. It's as if, look at this tree, look at what it bears. Because it's something that she knows will make me happy. It's about the the help, the finance, uh, financial situation, right? This could be talking. The three, look, look at this. <clears throat> if something is going to make you happy financially. Maybe at your home. Could be a tree. A tree. Or could be a breadfruit tree. But she's showing me this tree that bears gold and it drops the fruit is literally gold. And so she why did she want to help me? Because I she, it's almost like she knows. She's aware of many things. But I sondered into closer into her vibration and she was like and then she kind of invited me in deeper so she can show me this tree of what prosperity and she's happy she i feel like she's often that she was alone playing until i came along but she knew what i wanted she instantly knew why I came there. So she took me directly to this tree, but to, show, to point at me and she's 
so what do I do now? So I have lifted up one of the leaf, and it's like, is it, is it gold? Okay, so she wants to tell me something about the tree. She wants to tell me about the, 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 what it bears. So she's telling me about the tree. She's telling me about this. This tree is probably going to make you wealthy, Cancerian. Maybe you've known this tree since you were two. Maybe it's a tree in your family home. But she's like, she's saying, this is a spica tree. And it does this and it, oh, like, yeah. So it's, it's like I'm in a, a spiritual forest where she's telling me that this is a, this tree bears bread. It's something as miraculous as that. But I feel like it has medicinal values, healing this tree, the fruits of this tree and the entirety of this entire magical tree. So she's like, look here, like, this is like the tree, you can get prosperity, you can get what you are seeking from this tree. Maybe something told her that someone was going to come ask about the tree and she just knew it was the, this one that I was talking about. Okay. So there's a lot to learn about this tree, obviously. <laughs> there's so much to learn. Because she's, she's just, there's a lot of information that she's still giving. And the tree, its roots, it's rooted firmly in the earth. It's kind of like, it goes, I feel like it probably goes places it go it gets probably gets minerals from the earth it gets particular golden like nitro what is that it gets particular minerals out of the earth something like that is what she wants me to know about this tree it's like oh gas or something or uh, oil or something but it's also renewable. So now I want to see how I get this. How do I take this back with me? Oh, this is me exploring this gift. All right, let's see. So how do I take this? How do I make this a prosperity in my realm? Okay, she's going to tell me. It's like, um, I have to transform it first. Because it's like people go for it, go for that all the time. Not all the time, but it's like you can take some of it and take it. It's like the energy of pixie dust that you can take with you. You have to t transform it into something that is movable through. The dimensions the physical the planes but i do feel like as soon as i touch it it becomes transformed already so i am able to take it with me so she's explaining this to me that this is what happens oh so maybe it's just the knowledge or the information that i take with me Okay, the understanding. But this, it's, it's not just a tree, it's more, it's like a spirit of well-being. It's like going to the tree of youth people go people take this people take trips to this tree it's like myrrh frankly like a, a, a spice people go to this tree and they take mm -hmm. it's a it's a very popular tree too perhaps i feel not everyone knows of how now knows how to use it for well-being or abundance or to get the prosperity 
what some know some people know and they go to the street to get it they do go in they have to go in spiritual form or whatever to get it it could be like a country a tree that everyone knows but not everyone is aware of the spiritual benefits and how it works so it's like this child is giving me the gift to tell me that this tree is this thing so how will i know the tree oh she's she's saying i will know but i still don't know how i will know she's saying i will know like i'm just going to look at it the tree and maybe i'm going to see something yellow on it and i'm going to be like oh okay but how will I know how to use the street for abundance and prosperity or apply? How do I do that? Is it magical or is it um, intentional? Okay. Okay. Oh, it's a wisdom. It's a wisdom of the tree. This tree is old and ancient, like ancient. It's like the oldest one. I feel like people are exploiting this tree. Yeah. Fuck. I feel like people are exploiting the tree. Hmm. Yeah, the tree of life, perhaps. Like people are taking from the tree and not giving back just for wealth. Oh my God. But isn't earth abundant? Doesn't... Will things replenish or restore? Oh my God. Okay, so if we continue to take from this tree, um, especially in a manner of really raping the tree of life or whatever this tree is, then because um, the tree when the tree itself is not going to stop you because. It can't. It's as if the tree would hope that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're supposed when you take from the tree, you're supposed to multiply that some way, some form, so that you give back, so that the tree continues to grow, so that it is never ending. But it's like people are using the energy, the energy of this tree in the wrong way. They're putting it in places that's dormant and killing the light of the tree itself. So each time they go to take, they kill the, the tree, they kill the light of the tree. They're not, there's supposed to be a space or a place where they use this energy, but it's not being used that way. The correct way to use it is for it to continue to prosper and to grow. You know, and um, it's very crucial, actually. It's a it's at a crucial point. Many have been taken from this tree. Yeah. So that's why you showed me the tree. <sighs> okay. Okay. She's telling me what I can do to help this tree. I can I okay so she says I have to realize me 
like she's saying me on this side maybe humans on this side this here nowhere you know I have to know that I have to become aware of this and to see also that it is within me what I've been taking from this tree I have it within me and I need to ignite it in myself and that will help the tree okay so it's all about helping the tree okay <clears throat> It's all about helping the tree. The tree is losing its light. Because I, I'm imagining a tree that's... It's filled with little light, lamps. And then each time someone goes and takes a lamp, you know, it, it's, the tree is losing its light. And people go and they take heaps of lamps. Yeah, those people, they take heaps of lamps of light and they don't take it to create more maybe they hoard it and then it goes out oh, these people are what is this energy it feels like i don't want to go there but it's a horrible side of the story for the tree yeah for the tree All right, so guess what now? This tree that was going to make us wealthy. Oh, guess it may have made us wealthy because it's telling me that it is within me. But why did I even begin to want to take from the tree in the first place? Oh, the tree was... What was the tree? Were we supposed to take from the tree in the first place? Because maybe we weren't supposed to take from the tree. But why did we start taking from the tree? <clears throat> As if we didn't. There was a soul. Our own soul. Something in our soul was missing. And we saw this tree up on the hill full of light. And we felt if, if we could bring some of that home. It would be okay. The light fire tree of wands is fire energy those who have power have control power light <clears throat> energy that's what they've been hoarding and harvesting and at the same time the light the tree that brings this power and this light is losing its light because we think we need to reap the light from this tree. So I feel like Cancer, maybe you knew this since you were two years old. You, like you're not here for money, really. You're here to restore. Oh my goodness. The balance, the justice. I feel like you're here to charge the ones that have been hoarding the light of the tree and to stand to guard the tree and to also spread a message that find your light in you find your light in you find your wake up show to the people everyone that's coming to the street tell them it's the, the light is in you the light is in you so that i can see everyone's light begin to shine through their chest plates as their soul awakens and they realize the light is within them and so, oh, this tree is going to get its light through its root. Oh, my God. Because the souls of those whose souls have been awakened, the vibration is echoing through the earth itself. And that's where the tree gets its light from. Oh, my God. So the tree was losing its light because we didn't have, we didn't recognize our own light. So the more we claim our own individual light whatever that means our soul awakened our own abundance in self our own prosperity in self our own connection to the divine to abundance to sunshine because the tree feeds off of us but we thought we were feeding off of this tree so it's like no 
connected. You know you're connected to the divine. To give this light tree and walk barefooted on earth some more and feel feelings of abundance. Claim your own abundance to give. And it's almost like you're beginning to serve the planet. That's what humanity needs to do. I think that this is what this child wants to say. It's like serve. What is your purpose here? Each soul that is awake and, and as, as arised is to be serving their soul purpose. Yeah, and this sole purpose, Cancer, is to reignite the, the tree of life. Roots, rootedness, family, creation, origin, what is necessary, life. The Ace of Cups is saying, you know, give love to those, even unto those who take excessively from the tree. Because you can, if this was an animation, this life, we could try and understand why they would hoard the food and the light and the energy out of fear. So in order to combat that energy, we have to proceed with love. The Ace of Cups, like this full-blown anointed blessing love flowing over when speaking and when... When the clear in your vision, I feel you have been clear in your vision for a long time. Yeah, there's some, there's a moment, something that happened that made you go, Oh, ah, uh, yeah, this is what I came here for when you were two. Oh my god, that is incredible! A dog something that you were scared about that you had to overcome the healing a place hmm family restoring balance in the feminine as well Feminine magic, magic, family life, and the masculine as well. All right, my dear, this has been your money reading. Remember that all is within you. Many are called, few are chosen. Take position. Um, look, take position, speak your truth. Look, this is against the lies. The truth against what is lie. And what is lie is that you, you're supposed to look to something else for your source of life and well-being and you're to give your power over to another thing. When you're a child of the sun, a part of the soul, the sun is embedded in you. So it's for you to breathe into your own. Like You have to know that it is in your blood. You know what I mean? Solomonic DNA. Mm -hmm. You have to claim that you are the rightful one. You're not trusted, but it doesn't matter. You have to be powerful in this love to know who you are. Because it may take a lot of strength, you know. But I feel you've been tested for, for what you need to represent. You have been tested many times. So you will know, you will know easily what to do. Like this big old final test, it will be easy for you. It's like an examination in school and it's the biggest examination, but it's, it will be easy for you because this is the one, these are the things that you've been studying upon. 
So when everybody's like, what? You've been doing side reading up on this all along. So it's the easiest for you. It's like, yeah, <laughs> for real. It's going to be easy. I don't know if it's something you're going to speak or declare or to share or just to know the answer to. Mm -hmm. So speak, represent. I'm trying to catch my thoughts, really. There was so much going on. I feel like I was saying something and I lost that. About love. Mm, right. Seeing this one who is a fear. How would we handle it? We're just going to have to tell everyone that the light is in you. The light is in you. It is in you. It is in you. You're a child of the sun. It's in your blood, really. Yeah. Check your DNA. You are like, check, check, do, go do a DNA test. It's, you are a child of the sun and then you're going to realize, I am? Everyone is going to wake up. I am a child of the sun. They got the papers to prove it now. Now they believe it. <laughs> so, like everyone is going to be like, oh my God, I have the title to some, to some oil. Oh my God, I'm wealthy. <laughs> That's the vibration. Oh my God, I have the deed to some land that has gold. Me, oh my God, I am a child of the sun, that kind of wealth. Me, everyone is going to be looking around and be like, you have a title too? Yes, I have a title. Everyone has a title. And this devil wanted to, want, did not want you to know that. Because the devil wanted to control the energy. Because the devil was, the devil was afraid. That's what it is, just fear. 